Hello and welcome to my first frog row tour. Uh, that's my big display tank. It is one tank out of, I don't know, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, six! Oh, used to be eight, but a lot got bigger and some frogs uh, uh, were going to a friend. Um, yeah, that's my big t big display tank. It is 120 centimeters, 60 high and 50 centimeters deep. Got a water feature with a little pond, waterfall. It's coming from from top of there, kind of grown in, so you don't see it really. In here, living a pair of Ufaga Pugnilio Cristobal. And for Dendrobates Tinctorius Green Sips. Now you can see one. Yeah, about two years old now. I know there's a male for sure. Not sure if there is a female. I think there is, but I'm I'm not hundred percent sure. And there are two more, kind of hiding. And here is the male Cristobal. He got a big place. Always calling. He's pretty loud. But I got used to it. It's pretty relaxing. Yes. Up. That's the female. I assume, but not sure. Didn't find eggs. And here we have some orchids, some nice bromeliads. There's a little. It nearly died, but it's doing okay. There's another one, always trying to bloom. It's one is down under the moss in the in the. Ah, I forgot the plant. The name. Uh, Zingonium Rajai or something? Yeah. Ah, there. Also some orchid. There used to be another one, but it died. So, like, nearly all of my orchids didn't have the green thumb for them. Hope it doesn't it isn't too shaky. Yeah there I got an overview. Oh, the colors doesn't come close to the reality. Yeah. Then we we'll move on. Ah, let's start so there's a little overview. Oh, the sun is kind of Annoying today, but there are Azurias, Cobalts, Leucomelis, Baby Cobalts with some tadpoles and also some Cristobal. Let's start on the Cristobal because before I started the video I saw them, but you saw the male, they pretty much look the same. I'm not sure that is a pair, the other one is a pair. The tank is now two weeks old. Uh, I moved out, so uh, I didn't ha have the time to do it before. They are now in a. Oh, that's really reflective. In a 40 by 40 deep, 60 high. Before they were in a 30, 30, 40. It was a. Yeah, how do you say? It was not optimal, but I didn't have the time or the, 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 the tank to do it. Now they have pretty much a lot of space. Yeah, one baby cobalt. Can you see him? Yes. There are six or seven in here. I'm not really sure. There's one sitting on that bromelia right there. Six or seven, I think. But 
We have four more to come. I don't know if you can really see them. Two of them also got the back legs. The other one are a little bit older. Uh, not older, younger. Yeah, and that's all the babies of this pair. Then you see the female. She's really big. They are... Yesterday I started to get them into the wet season, they were about two months in the dry season. Stopped laying eggs and calling, but that's okay because they laid like crazy. The female is pretty bold, the, the male is a little bit shy, so you don't see him so often, but the female is always in the open. And they are in a 40 by 40 by 40. They are also getting an upgrade to 80 by 40 by 40. So a much bigger place. In here we have three Lucamellas. They are usually hiding in that place. They don't come out in the day. Just in the morning when they are calling. And when the lights go out they are also coming out. Even if I feed them, I don't see them really. There's also water feature. But the tank doesn't work so nice like the other. I try to separate them in the, in the middle. But the water goes from there to there and then that's all wet and yes, not so perfectly. Yeah, that one needs to be redone. Sometimes there's a female, now oh, you can see her better. She's gorgeous. Super nice. Yeah, that's my first video ever recorded. Hope it's okay. So, all those guys we had, and now we have the Azurius tank. There's one, there are five in here. And one Brazilian. Braziliana, however you want to call him. There you can see his yellow head. He is my oldest frog. His female died. Uh, got checked, got a checked him. He is healthy. And so I that's one tank that got sold, but I want to keep him. Don't know if I will sell him in the future or if we build a new one for him. That one is uh, half a year old now. Got some bromeliads, some begonia, shulensi, a lot of moss, a lot of stuff I don't know because it's just growing. <laughs> there he is. The roots on that bromeliad are a little bit, little bit too much, but it's okay. There is he, the oldest boy. He's I got him 2014. He's a male. He's healthy. He's okay in here. Let's open the other side. There we have also a nice orchid. Really like it. The leaves are just gorgeous. I got three kind of what what can I say disabled? But as I bought them, I not really looked at them, and they got deformed back legs. Two of them are extreme. And one is just growing. He's pretty small. Don't know if we can find him. Eh, not so sure. This begonia is going like crazy. Super cool. There yeah, you can see it kind of. Also his back is deformed. Normally there on my fingernail. 
is a kind of butt like on oh, that's hard to see but oh, there you can oh he just turned now okay and there are two of them that are so deformed I will keep them I wanted to split the tank in half make one half Azurius and maybe the other one with a female for the Brazil but they are all coming along there's no aggression maybe we can see the pretty boy there are one and there in the back is another one and then the pretty one I got one that doesn't have or doesn't have washed out pattern like the other three and he's a lot more greener you can see it is kind of a mix between green and blue and it's a little bit faded maybe I can get a little bit closer with that light it's not thought so easy yeah you can kind of see it there are all three sitting there yes in here we have, oh the sun is extreme at the moment the crusty the plants are all kinda yes not so good he's normally sleeping in that oh, I don't know if you can see that but I think so in that cork bark and comes out at the, at the night He's pretty skittish, so as soon as you open the tank and don't have food, he's away. <laughs> but it's okay, he looks nice. So, more updates are coming, I don't know, weekly, monthly, maybe in combination with some feeding, but that's the first try. I think it's okay. The tanks are looking good. Need to clean the glass, but it's not that bad at the moment. Yes. Hope you have a nice day. Leave a comment down below and like if it if you find it was okay for the first time. And if you want to subscribe, you can, but I would wouldn't recommend it at the moment. For sh to be honest, there is just not a lot to see this plant is nice yeah so have a nice day and bye